Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at nbt.prd.go.th. I'm k a j a n g w i t h j i t Today we are ready to guide you through some captivating stories. We are talking about a landmark telemedicine initiative for expats, Bangkok's global tourism triumph, and a forecasted surge in hotel incomes. And our program continues after this. Kicking off with news that is set to transform healthcare for Thais around the world, the Ministry of Public Health has just announced a groundbreaking telemedicine initiative to provide healthcare services to approximately 1 million Thai citizens living abroad. And this project, part of a larger scheme to support Thai expatriates, aims to ensure. That they have access to essential medical services, even in countries without universal health care. Initially focusing on uh, Thai monks in India, the ministry is now looking to set up a model that can be replicated globally. And the plan includes a comprehensive list of pharmacies in key countries uh, like South Korea, Israel, the United States, and Japan, where Thais can easily purchase medicines following a diagnosis. Through the telemedicine service, and this initiative is a significant move towards ensuring the well-being of the Thai diaspora, keeping them connected to their home country's healthcare system, no matter where they are. And back to our show once again. This is Thailand Outlook. In uh, our next story today, the bustling metropolis of Bangkok has been named the most visited city in the world for 2023. Hosting a whopping 22.78 million tourists, and according to World of Statistics, Thailand has made a remarkable comeback in the global tourism scene, with three of its cities making it to the top 20. Now, Bangkok's allure lies in its unique blend of traditional charm and modern vibrancy, drawing visitors from every corner of the world, and this achievement is a testament. To Thailand's enduring appeal as a global tourism hub, but it's not just Bangkok that is basking in the limelight. Thailand's tropical paradises—we're um, talking Phuket and Pattaya—also featured in the top 20, uh, further solidifying the country's status as a premier tourist destination. Um, the diversity of these cities, from Bangkok's urban energy to Phuket's serene beaches and Pattaya's lively nightlife. Uh, really offers something for every traveler. This is an exciting time for Thai tourism, and we will be back to delve into how the return of Chinese tourists is set to boost hotel incomes in 2024. And our final story today looks at Thailand's hospitality sector, which is points for a significant upturn in 2024. And with the anticipated return of Chinese tourists, hotel incomes across the country are expected to soar. China, which is a key source of market for a Thailand's tourism industry, is seen as a crucial driver for this positive trend. And the relaxation of travel restrictions and the reinstatement of visa exemptions are likely to result in a substantial increase in Chinese visitors. Now, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, or TAT, has set ambitious targets for Chinese tourist arrivals, aiming to contribute significantly to the country's tourism revenue. And this expected surge comes as a much-needed boost to uh, Thailand's hospitality industry, which has faced challenges in the past few years due to the pandemic. Also, hotels across Thailand, especially in popular destinations like Bangkok, Phuket, and Chiang Mai. Are gearing up for this influx from luxury resorts to budget-friendly accommodations. The industry is preparing to welcome a diverse range of travelers from China, offering unique experiences and world-class hospitality. And this is exciting times ahead for Thailand tourism and hospitality sectors. From the pioneering telemedicine initiative for Thai expats to Bangkok's crowning. 
as the world's most visited city and the anticipated boom in hotel incomes. Today's episode highlighted some significant strides in Thailand's public health, tourism, and hospitality sectors. I'm Kwa Chang with Dotjit, and thank you for joining us. See you again next time on Thailand Outlook. Bye for now. สวัสดีครับ The government of Thailand is committed to eradicating corruption and misconduct from all sectors, including within official agencies. All government agents are instructed to not fall victim to corruption schemes and to never take advantage of the public, whether citizens or visitors to the country. By starting with civil servants, the government affirms that everyone is part of the fight against corruption. The National Science and Technology Development Agency, or NSTDA, has moved to incorporate modern agricultural technologies into sticky rice farming as part of Thailand's broader biocircular green or BCG economy agenda. The NSTDA's National Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, or Biotech, initiated the BCG Naga Belt Road project as a way to apply the BCG model to a specific target product. In this case, glutinous rice, also known as sticky rice. The BCG Naga Belt Road enjoys collaboration from academic partners, including Chulalongkorn University and Udon Thani Rajapat University. In addition to the Bank for Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives (Siam Kubota Corporation Company Limited, g a s e t Inno Company Limited, the Ministry for Agriculture and Cooperatives, and local administrative offices and organizations. The project focuses on ways to create added value from agricultural production to product innovation and the creative and tourism economies. The project, which has been launched in four provinces, focuses on four areas: transferring modern agricultural technology to glutinous rice farmers, strengthening the glutinous rice value chain in waste upcycling, developing a creative economy based on glutinous rice cultural heritage and resources, and establishing an enabler system to drive the BCG model. The result is high-value, eco-friendly products that complement cultural tourism and support the livelihoods of glutinous rice farmers and businesses along the value chain. The BCG Naga Belt Road project is part of Thailand's broader BCG agenda to transform Thailand's agriculture system to achieve three highs, namely high efficiency, high standards, and high income, while balancing economic, social, and environmental goals. Pilot projects powered by a public-private, people, professional, or 4P partnership have been launched in five provinces: Rajburi, Lampang, k o n g a n j a n t a b u r i and p a t a l u n g The central idea is to use technology to improve production efficiency, add value to farm products, upcycle agricultural waste, create an agricultural value chain from upstream to downstream, from production to processing, connect supply and demand, and link agricultural activities to the service sector to boost tourism, which should lead to long-term economic growth in each province.